The air hose connects the manifold to the pressure switch. The hose is pressurized with tank air, allowing the pressure switch to monitor the air pressure in the tank. Over time, the rubber hose can harden and crack, causing an air leak. Replacing the air hose is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before doing any work on your air compressor, it's a good idea to drain all of the air out of the tank. You can do that with the tank drain. Just open it up and let all the air drain out. I'll begin by removing the manifold cover. Next, I'll remove the hose clamp. The hose clamp will have to be cut free. Because the hose clamp has to be cut, it's not reusable. Now remove the pressure switch hose. Now remove the motor and pump assembly from the tank. Now remove the motor cover. Now I'll pull the motor and pump from the opposite housing. I'll need to disconnect the yellow pressure switch wire. Now remove the pressure switch. I'll remove the red wire from the on-off switch. The pressure switch is held to the housing with one screw. Now remove the hose from the pressure switch. To do that, I'll cut away the crimp clamp. Now I can replace the rubber hose. To install the rubber hose to the pressure switch, I'll need a new crimp clamp. I'll place the clamp over the rubber hose and then install the hose to the nipple on the pressure switch. Once in place, I'll secure the clamp with a pair of end nip pliers. Now I can reinstall the pressure switch and hose assembly. I'll thread the hose through the housing and secure the assembly in place with the screw. I can reconnect the red wire to the switch. Now I'll install the motor and pump assembly back into the housing. I'll reconnect the yellow wire. And now I can install the other half of the housing. As I do this, I need to make sure that I align the cord relief with the housing. and I'll secure it with the screws.
Now watch me re-secure the motor assembly to the tank. I'll place the hose clamp over the pressure switch tube. Then I'll reinstall the tube onto the nipple on the manifold. I'll place the crimp clamp over the manifold nipple and secure it in place with a pair of end nip pliers. I'll finish up by reinstalling the manifold cover. And that's how you can install a new air hose on your air compressor. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.